got some new mics in. I got some new mics in, and right now I'm using the uh, Shure SM7B through a Rodecaster Pro XLR setup. It's amazing. I'm extremely impressed with it. It gives me so much control. Um, something truly that that, that I'm, I'm extremely blessed to have uh, this microphone. And then before I got these, I had ordered a Wave 3. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing your sub. I appreciate that. I had heard, uh, I had heard that the Wave Three was a was a good one, a good mic. Um, so I ordered one of those, but it took forever to show up. It just it got like lost in the mail a little bit. It just took forever, um, but it finally it arrived. It arrived, so I'm stoked. I'm super stoked about it. What's up, Sauce? Turn up mids and highs. You sound muffled. I have no idea what it sounds like. Literally just plugged it in and I haven't adjusted a single thing. So one of these days I'll, I'll start adjusting it and looking at all of the settings and what it sounds like. Um, but right now this is just plug and play, no changing anything on stuff. Um, so this is the wave three. It's, it comes on a little stand like this. I don't suggest using the stand that it comes with like this. Um, you want to get it off your desk if possible. What's up freeze. You want to get it on, on some sort of boom if you can. That'll just that'll take away some of your keyboard sounds, um, your clicks, a lot of your desktop noise. But what I like about the Shure is it's a dynamic mic, so it's it's designed to pick up things close to the mic. You know, they, they want you to be fairly close to it. Now, with the Wave, this thing's going to pick up everything in the room. Like, the second I turn this on, because I, I have it plugged in right here. Hold on. Let me copy this. Let me move it back here. So I have it. I have it plugged in. Hold on. So I have it plugged in. It's it's attached. It's on. I downloaded the software. So what I'm going to do now is mute the road, and then I'm going to turn on the wave. And we're just going to see. This is. I haven't adjusted a noise gate. I haven't turned on anything. So this is just right out the box, plugged in. Let's see what it sounds like. All right. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Oh, wait, I did plug in some noise gate. Hold on, let me turn off the filters. Let me turn these off. Remove, remove. Okay, so now this is, oh, wow, it's loud. That, that was loud. Oh my God, it's so loud. Oh my God, it's so loud. Okay, okay, okay. So that's with no, that's just out the box. I don't know if that, that sounds a little, it looks like it was louder to me. It looks like it's like in the red. You can hear the fan. Weird. Major fan noise with it. Okay, okay. And can you hear me? Like, if I'm way over here, can you hear me? Hello? Does the audio, see like, this mic seems like it's picking up my audio over here, no problem. That's the big difference with these mics, is the Rode, the, or the Shure, the Shure SM7B won't, won't pick it up from from further distance um the wave sounds better Ooh, i don't know i don't know but i'm not listening to it so but the wave is also going to pick up like all kinds of shit like if i if i click something like you're gonna you're gonna pick this up you're gonna pick up the clicks now now let's see when we add a noise gate to it and a limiter Let's add, let's add a gate to it. Let's add a noise gate to it. So a noise gate should eliminate that fan. A noise gate should eliminate that fan noise in the background. Is the fan noise gone? See, the fan noise is gone. Okay. Fan noise is gone, no problem. See, that was easy. And that's just the default noise gate. I didn't even go in. I didn't even play with it one bit. Didn't play with it at all. Nothing. Didn't touch a single, single thing. Yeah, that Blue Yeti is great. It worked. I have one. It worked amazing for nine months. So your biggest difference with this mic is, and why I went with the Shure uh, SM7B, and you can honestly, you can get a dynamic mic in general, but I went with a dynamic mic because we're going to have two people in here, and I don't want two people to share one mic, or if, if they're doing something at their station, like if Jana's over here taking a dab, you know, and she drops the dabber, 
I don't necessarily want that sound to be picked up on my mic. So my goal was to create two different mics where she could do her own thing and talk and I could do my own thing and talk. And it's, it's, just, it's just clean sound. Um, and that's what I think we get with, with the shore. Um, but how, how are we going to do you know, the yoga stuff? The yoga stuff, the wave, the wave could help. Or what I do is I can go, mic's back because I like this one better. Or what I could do is I can get the Lavelle, Lavar, Laval, I don't know how to fucking say it. Um, so now we're back on the Shure SM7B XLR plugged through the road, Roadcaster. Um, it's definitely different in my opinion. Um, which one is better? I, I don't know, to be honest. I think it's more so they, they, both, they both can work um, perfectly, but they're two, they're two like complete different spectrums. Like they're, they're totally different worlds. Like they're totally different worlds. It's, it's just what you need it to do. The wave and the wave is a million times easier and affordable to use. Let's, let's, go, let's go into price point now. This is, this is a massive, massive point of this conversation. Price point. Price point right here. This sure is $400. And that's just the mic. That's not the fucking $60 cable. That's not the $600 mixer that's over here. This fucking mic is expensive as balls. Yo, JG, thank you for the five months. I love you. You're the goat, bro. Thank you. The Wave 3 is $159. It's one fifty nine, one hundred sixty bucks for this mic, and you don't need a mixer, you don't need a cable. It comes USB. You plug it right in, it works. So there is, and and the wave. I'm sure I can dial the wave in. Like if I toss this wave right, if I toss this on this boom, on this boom right here, right. I throw a pop filter on there. I dial in all of the settings. I throw a compressor on there. I throw a limiter on there, some noise gate. I dial in everything. You can make this mic, the Wave, sound fucking amazing. You can make it sound amazing. And I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to get rid of it because I think there will be times where I want the... Maybe I have three or four people over and I want... Yeah, yeah, their, their, their uh, software or whatever, the companion app for it is awesome. It's awesome. Like, it's a little mixer for it. You can add multiple channels. It is a software version of the Rodecaster Pro. It's, it's awesome. And for fucking half the price, half the price, it's very comparable. Um, it's very comparable. And now also we got to remember this. When we switch over to the, to the wave. Now we're on the wave. We're on the wave. It's on the desk, too. It's on this this fucking thing that they sent that don't don't use this thing get a boom get a boom arm please if you're gonna buy a mic get a boom arm because it's gonna make such a big difference guys it's gonna make such a big difference like and then another thing if i get loud if i get loud does it sound what's it sound like when i'm loud loud is it peaking or is it like the shore where it fixes it because when i scream on the shore it's fucking like when I scream here, hey, yo, fucking amazing. Now when I scream, do the same thing. Hey, hey, what is it doing? Is it, is it loud? Which one? What scream test did we like? Much louder. They're pretty close. It's good, but it got a little louder. So it did. It didn't, it didn't cut it. It didn't cut it or, or mix it better. I don't know what it's exactly doing. It's loud, but it's actually there. Nice. Yeah, normally the, it normally crackles with, with the, with this mic right here, which was a great mic. This was an amazing mic for me. Nine, I used this mic every day for nine months, but I beat the shit out of it. Like I beat the shit out of this thing. Like, this Blue Yeti got beat up. Um, screamed into, punched, kicked. This is a great mic too. But, for the same price as this mic now, the Blue Yeti, you can get a Wave 1 for cheaper. And you can get a Wave 3 for like 20 more bucks. So if you were going to get a USB mic, I say go with the Wave 3. If you're going to go XLR, 
fuck, that'll be another YouTube video. If you enjoyed this, it's free to subscribe. Um, I don't know if we're going to do more comparing videos, but I personally love the sound quality of the short SMB, SM7B. It is amazing, crisp, and I, I just, I don't think I'll uh, use another mic for the foreseeable future. It, it's, it's fucking perfect. Um, I'll see you guys uh, on Twitch. We stream live daily. Hit the link below. Boo! All right. YouTube video! Wave versus Yeti vid. Ooh, okay. I could do that. I could do that. I could for sure do that. 100%. Okay, so let's put the wave on the computer over there. Let them see it. How are we doing? Okay, I don't know. It's doing its thing over there. Some more even flow. Nice. Nice. Deb, and the, the wave is really good. The wave is a really, really good microphone. I, I, the biggest, it's price point. It's okay. Check it out. Yo, for all my motherfucking stoners, for all my motherfucking stoners. Look, look, here's a little analogy. Yo, the wave is like some top tier BHO. It's fire. I'll smoke that shit. I'll take a dab. But the sure SM7B. Ooh, that's like some fucking 90U live hash rosin that you don't want to share with nobody, not even your best friend, because it's goddamn perfect. Mm. That's what we're talking on right now. Woo. Woo. But hey, 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 wave three. Fire, fire, BHO. Okay, fire, BHO. Look at that. That was a good analogy. I like that. All right. 